Shut up and sit down. Hey, you skellywags. Just another what's in the box video. Skelly's off today. Uh, so we've got this, which we'll be unboxing uh, just in a bit. Came in a bit battered uh, from my Lina in transit. It came in uh, like that. Worse than, uh, than what it looks like there. And then this came along as well. So I took them out of the box already. So this is more sort of like a toy haul. Skeleton Forces, Grim Reaper's Vengeance, Type C. Looking forward to seeing what this fella's like. The new version of the Grim Reapers. Um, I'm th tempted to get the uh, Type B as well. Because I like the look of that one. But this one, with the white skull. Yeah. I think he uh, should hopefully be... Uh, the good one. And we've got this. What's this you say? It's an old school Joy Toy one. Otar. I was going to get him before, but um, yeah, I was put off by the cl uh, cloth thing. But seeing custom by Battle Planets, I thought, yeah, let me grab him because I like that head. See, I've got this Flame Trooper. So I'm thinking of putting the uh, head of that onto Flame Trooper. Look, this is... <laughs> Almost exactly the same as Acid Rain packaging. This was their Acid Rain um, phase where they were trying to do packaging like them. The Simon box is like that as well. The review and video of him is up on the channel. And this, what's in the box? So, yeah, this is a blind box. Um, I could only, it was only Eilina that I found that were doing the single blind boxes. So I thought I'd grab one. Again, it looked a lot worse than this, but it's still sealed up. So let's crack it open and see what we've got in there. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Look at it inside that. Let's check though, because out of these lot, I like all of them actually, except for this guy. That's the only one I don't want. So hopefully I don't get him. But anyone else, cool. I'll be, I'll be. Happy with any one of those other figures. It's more sort of for, uh, customs that I want these guys. I've got te the whole team B coming along, and they'll be for custom figure projects. You know what's in there, eh? Okay. Exciting. Yeah. And. Yeah. The headless person. There, that's it. That is all. Bare bones. So it's a female character, which is nice. Did want one of the female ones more than the other ones, really. Here you go. Uh, let's put this neckerchief thing here. Scarf. And is a head. Quick look at ya. Let me just check the packaging and see if there's anything else that's supposed to come with it, because this is very bare bones in terms of what's with her. Just the figure, basically. I'm sure some of them have got accessories. This leg seems to be popping off a bit, maybe. Damage in transit. Have to fix that up. Yeah, so. Looks alright. Brand new uh, buck, not like the other female figures that Joyto have done before. Do like that look in us so far. And this will be really good for like putting other parts and armor bits or whatever. Look at that there. Definitely need to fix that up. Well, maybe it's just as easy as that. Hmm. That belt thing we've not had before. See, this whole whole thing is 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 brand new. I'm sure um, we're going to get a lot of these though in terms of the design on other figures now. As they tend to do, 
just improve things and then uh, use them for their new stuff. All right. So here's everything all laid out. Minimal. Start with a... Uh, look at that face. That is better than a lot of the other female figure faces. Better than her knight's captain. Better than uh, Hermione. And all these those other ones. Looks more realistic than those faces, the bland faces. Looks like she's got a little bit more personality. So buddy. Oh, yeah, the leg was easy to fix. There's a boots. Still detail underneath there too. Here, the back legs there, the joints are okay. Alright. So articulation, head, does everything that you need it to do. Arm goes about there. Hmm. Move like that. Up, look at that bend. That's good. And it still moves there. Hand, tiny hand. Can do that new um, way of moving. Movement up there. And a bit here as well, which is really held on by the belt, as you can see. This, same here, all the way around. There. Jean-Claude! Oh, maintenance minge. This leg goes up, kind of like that. Lucky you can turn it there at the uh, thigh. It's a very particular kind of up because of the way it's molded. Not much of a back because of a butt. That goes all the way up, which is good. Unsightly uh, knees though, the new knees. Here, foot goes down and up. And pivots there and toes. Here's a scarf, very simple, orangey red, alright, put on, and this is the belt which actually comes off as well, there that bit comes undone, comes undone, there. So, when you put this on, it is going to limit a movement on the left leg, of course. So, just be aware of that. Strange design. But it is unique, new. Do you like the trying different things? And there she is. Alright, let's get a uh, Stina figure and compare. See? So there are quite a few differences. Different legs, different upper body. Let's check this Joy Toy gun that she, uh, Stina comes with. Or Cyberpunk Jill in my case. Because the, the head's different. See, look at his hand. It's tiny. Also, there's a little bit in it. Look. See? It will make it difficult to hold things. Like, you'll have to have specific things, I think. Accessories that she can hold, because that won't really go in properly. Let's try this pistol. Yeah, although it's quite small, it's going to be a bit difficult too. See? Look. Yeah, because of that, that bit in the hand, it, it will make it very, very difficult. 
I'm assuming that's there for a, a reason. Maybe because of the other maintenance accessories you can get. But so now she doesn't come with anything. Let's get this back to See, very different. All right. Let's do a few other comparisons. Right, so a few figs here I'm currently working on, or videos. Here first up, Glacus, Glaucus, however you pronounce it. Never heard it said out loud before, so this is all guesswork on my part. Is it? Yeah, the videos, are, well, these will be coming soon, I promise. Very busy. There he is. Her? How they how they fit in? It's pretty cool. This guy, Flame Trooper from a manga, opened him up recently. Nice little uh, figure, older Acid Rain figure. And this one. Custom Joy Toy Stroke Acid Rain figure. Been uh, messing about with the, uh, the halogen pack there. Got quite a few on, a few bits on there. And then we'll grab Stealth Talos. Awesome little figure, cool extras for different variations you can use. And then, oops. and then this guy, custom snake figure. Video of him is out now. If you want to check that out, they yeah, all scale very well with this maintenance uh, team eight figure. So yeah, I think I'll be uh, trying out a few things with her. Let's uh, get this helmet, which is from the Stealth Talos for a Stealth Trooper. There you go. Doesn't look too bad. I was actually considering using this with a snake. Looks alright, I know. Put back. Alright, let's uh, pose her a bit. Right, so as uh, figures go, she's actually right. That but does hinder her backwards movement, but she's a very good little figure, particularly if you are. Well, she's got something there. I'm going to remove that little bit of plastic. Extra plastic bit there on her jaw. Yeah, so if you're looking for custom uh, figure uh, bodies and stuff, I think these guys would be awesome. I mean, that's why I got the, the Team B. Not, you know, I mean, I suppose they could be maintenance workers and things like that. But for me, primarily, I'll be using these guys for different sort of customs, uh, for figures, other uh, characters I'll be putting together. See, look, the range of movement is really good, really sturdy. I mean, as blind boxes go, they're not on the cheap side. This I got, what, for about £25 delivered. Uh, just under that, really. 
Um, but for me, I weighed out the pros and cons. I figured that there were, how many of them are there? Five, is it? Four out of the five that I, uh, I, would, I would want and didn't mind any of those for uh, making a custom figure as opposed to buying a brand new set with all those accessories and things, which I've done. I've got like a pack I haven't even opened primarily for customs. Um, this would be good, and which is why I wanted some female ones. I'm glad I got her so I can make a another female uh, character out of uh, this buck. So yeah, really good. After I get the Team B, if I use out all the bucks and make characters from those, I may get some more of these. You know, get one or two here, here or there if I, I need a new buck. Yeah, check it out if you're interested. I'll scale you later.